In this video, you will learn how to run Facebook ads with your smartphone. This is a complete Facebook ad course for beginners. It's a step-by-step -step Facebook ads tutorial. There's a difference between boosting a post and running Facebook ads. What most of you do is to boost a post. But in this particular video, I will show you how to run Facebook ads from scratch using your smartphone. Phone. So do well to watch this video to the end so that you don't miss any important step. The first thing you need to do is to create a page if you don't have one already. If you already have, fine and good. But if you don't have, this is what you will do. Go to your Facebook, click on this menu. When you tap on the menu, it will take you over here. Then you are going to see pages right here. Click on pages. When you click on pages, you are going to see the pages you already have here. If you don't have anyone, then right here is going to be blank. You will not see anyone here. Then for you to create your own page, go ahead and click on this create button. You are going to see the create button right here. Go ahead, click on the create button and proceed with the prompt to create your page. So that is the first step. So after creating your page, if you are using Android, open your Play Store, if you are using iPhone, open your App Store and search for this app, Meta Ads Manager. This is the app right here. Click on it. So you are going to see this icon. This is the app. Mine is showing open here because I've already downloaded the app. If you have not downloaded, you are going to see install right here. So go ahead and install the app. After installing the app, click on open. This is the ad interface. This is how it looks like. It's going to look blank here because you have not created any ad. But if you have created ad before, the ad history will appear here. So the first thing you're going to do is to set up your payment method. Click on this settings icon. It will take you here. Click on billing and payment. Then right here, you are going to see ad payment method. Because this is your first time of using the app, you are going to add payment method because we have two types of payment method. We have the prepaid and the postpaid payment method. And it is good that you use the prepaid because in Nigeria here, our Naira card is not working for the postpaid. So that is why you need to select the prepaid payment method. I will show you how to do that right now. So you click on add payment method. You are going to check your country here, ensure that you select your country. For instance, I'm in Nigeria, I'm selecting Nigeria. Then select your currency. My is Nigerian Naira. Then select your time zone. Ensure that it is on Africa slash Lagos. That is if you are in Nigeria. If you are in other countries, select your time zone. Okay. Then after that, go ahead and click on next. Pay attention here. This is where some persons make some costly mistakes in setting up their Facebook ad. Right here, you are going to see two kinds of payment method. This first one here is the postpaid, and it is usually on this one by default. But it is your duty to select the second one, which is Naira payment with Mastercard slash Visa. If you don't use that second one, you will have problem paying for your ads with your Naira debit card. So go ahead and select the second one for you to use the prepaid ad method. So I'll select this and you go ahead and click on next. So this is the next thing you will see here, tax information. With this tax information is for those who are paying for tax for their businesses. So if you have your VAT ID, just go ahead and add it up. But if you are an individual, you are not paying tax for your business, then go ahead and click on this skip button to skip. On this amount to add, it's usually 4,500 by default. But you can always tap on it to edit it and add the amount that you want to add. But in this case, we are not adding money yet. We just want to set the payment method. So just go ahead and click on next. It will take you to this pay you section. You will see continue. Click on the continue button. Then right here, you are going to see card number card holder name and all that. I will explain this to you when you want to add money to your ad account. So just click back, just click back. Go ahead and close this ad font, close it. Okay, so now that you have set your payment method, you will see that this prepaid font is now here and you will see the balance is zero. To add funds to your Facebook ad account, this is what you will do. You are going to click on this settings icon up. 
click on billing and payments go ahead and click on add funds you are going to see the amount to add here yeah? by default it's usually on 4500 so tap on this 4500 to edit so let's assume that i want to fund with 2000 first let's assume i want to fund with 2000 okay i'll tick good then ensure that you select the second one naira payment with mastercard slash visa pay you by the side don't ever select this first one that says debit or credit card visa and mastercard sign by the side that first one don't ever select that first one please take note of this select the second one that says naira payment with mastercard slash visa okay so when you select the second one go ahead and click on next button so it is going to redirect you to pay you platform click on this continue button now you are going to enter your card details the card that works on this facebook ad is only mastercard and visa valve doesn't work so don't use valve use mastercard or visa so you are going to see card number here this card number is the long numbers on your atm card then this card holder name is the name on your atm card some banks do not write it so if they do not write it on your own card that means it is your account name okay this mm and yy is the expiring date mm is for months yy is for year you will see that on your card then when you enter that you are going to see another thing which is cvv that cvv is the three digit number at the back of your card so you are going to enter that three digit number when you enter the three digit number you are going to click on this pay 2000 naira you see the button here if depending on the amount that you're paying if you're paying 5000 you will see pay 5000 naira button here then go ahead and click on that pay 5000 naira and it's going to redirect you to the page where you will enter otp your bank is going to send you an otp to your email or to your phone number that you use in registering with that bank when they send the otp to your phone number go ahead and enter that otp there and click on the submit button and with that you are funded your ad account for you to see your balance you are going to see it here just go back you are going to see your balance you are going to see the money you just added here on that prepaid font you will see it here this one is showing zero because i have not added money here okay it's just a, an account i'm using for illustration so you will see the balance right there now that you have set up your payment method you have added fund the next thing is to set up your ad so what you are going to do is to click on this create button or you can click on this plus button both of them will serve the same purpose so i've clicked on create now you are going to see different objectives here let me explain them one by one pay attention right here because if you get the objective wrong you are going to waste money on your ad you are going to get the results wrong so that is why you need to pay attention the first thing that facebook is asking you is what is your objective what is what do you want to achieve with this ad i am doing this video again because this is an update to the previous video i did facebook has changed their um, user interface so moving on what objective do you want to achieve with this ad and these are the several objectives we have here we have the first one which is engagement and for engagement they say get more messages video views post engagement page likes or event response so if you want to achieve any of this if you want people to dm you if you want people to message you you want more people to see your videos you want more people to engage with your post what you mean by post engagement is likes um comments and shares that's what we mean by post likes then the next thing here is awareness awareness campaign is mostly used for brand awareness it is good to reach more people this one is mostly used by big brands who just um establish in a country or city and they want to create more awareness then the next objective we have here is traffic objective the traffic objective is used when you want to get more landing page views if you want to uh, get website visitors people to visit your website if you want to drive traffic to your whatsapp or um instagram dm or your messenger then you go ahead and use traffic objective then the next objective we have here is what we call leads if you want to generate leads leads are um, people's phone number email address their name or address so these things are the things that we call leads so that is for the leads objective the next objective we have here is sales objective the sales objective is used 
when you want to sell directly for instance those who are running e-commerce products or if you are selling digital products and you are using a sales page this is when you use the sales objective to sell what you are selling directly the last objective we have here is app promotion this app promotion is used by people who want people to download their app on play store or app store so that is what app promotion is used for so, so these are the various ad objective that we have here on facebook and you are going to select one based on what you want to achieve with your ad so for the purpose of this video we are going to use one as illustration if you want one on one coaching if you want one on one mentorship with me then you will see my phone number on the screen you can reach out to me and we get started so let's continue let us use an objective here which is the traffic objective so i'll select the traffic objective right now and let us see how the setup goes the first thing here is the campaign details you can see that it is on traffic so the next thing is to edit your campaign name let us quickly do that we click on campaign name and edit it the reason why it is good to name your campaign is so that when you run several campaign you can be able to know which one that did better and which one is for what products you promoted so for instance i want to promote laptop so i'll just label it laptop so that i will know which campaign i am doing right now to differentiate other ones so i've labeled it laptop special ad category you don't need to go here this one is for housing for politics and i don't think your advert is going into that so leave this special category leave this special category alone it's so let us move to the next one which is budget so click on budget to edit budget the budget they are talking about is how much you want to spend per day and we have two kinds of budget in here we have the daily budget and we have the lifetime budget i always advise you use the daily budget so that you can know how much you're spending per day and how much it costs you to get a particular result so simply go ahead click on this to edit the amount you want to spend per day so right here for instance i want to use 1000 naira per day on this particular ad this um, bid strategy highest volume just leave it at that don't touch anything there then you go ahead and click on this back button so that you can go back to the fill up other things so i'll click the back button now that i've set up my budget the next thing i'll do is to click on next we have three ads level we have the campaign level we have the ad set level and the ad level so we are done with the campaign level right now we are at the ad set level so let us see the ad set name we'll edit that then we'll talk about other things right here so let me tap on this ad set name and i will still label it laptop because i want to promote laptop on this particular ad so i'll tick good and i will tap on the back button to go back i'll be a little faster now so that this video will not be too long okay so the next thing we have here is conversion what they mean by conversion is they are asking you the destination where you want those who engage on the ad to go to so if you want them to dm you on instagram whatsapp facebook and your website you select that right here so let me tap on it to edit it so for this particular one we have website and messenger we did not see whatsapp here because this uh, page has not been linked to uh, business whatsapp if you link your page to whatsapp business account then you are going to see whatsapp here so we can select these two you can use a website or you can use messenger so i want to drive this particular traffic to my website so i'll select website and i will click on this back button the next thing we have here is schedule so i'll tap on schedule and what they are asking you is how long do you want to run your ad you see the start date and the start time so you see that this end date is usually off so you can toggle it on to turn it on so i'll toggle it on right now and now you can see your end date so go ahead and set your end date and end time for you to proceed and the next thing here you will see is add set spend limit just leave this button off don't don't touch it leave it off don't limit anything go ahead and click back to see the next thing we have here and the next thing here is audience how do you set your audience so i'll tap on audience now under audience you will see locations and this one is nigeria 
Nigeria is not the only location you can target. If you want to target people in Ghana, if you want to target people in Cote d'Ivoire, if you want to target um, United States, U United Kingdom, people in South Africa, and every other location you can target. So depending on who your audience are, then go ahead and tap on this edit. You are going to enter this place where they say search location. This one is on Nigeria. So if you don't want Nigeria or if you want to add other locations, you can enter here to add other locations. Then right here, you are going to see detailed targeting. Actually, there are two kinds of targeting. We have the um, open targeting. We also have the detailed targeting. I don't want this video to be too long. There is another video that is on complete targeting. I've done audience targeting tutorial. So the link to that video will be at the description of this particular video. After watching this one, just go there and watch it and you will understand more about detailed targeting. Let me just do with open targeting and we'll get going. The next thing here is age. So you are going to select the age for this particular product that you want to sell there's a drop down button here just tap on this drop down button and you'll be able to select the minimum age and the maximum age so what i'm selling is for those that are 25 years and above i don't want to select that age bracket to see how it will connect so let me see the maximum age and i'm going to select 55 i want 25 to 55 years of age that's what i want then i'll go ahead the next thing here is gender and you are going to see a drop down button here that you can select the particular gender you want so when you tap on the drop down button you are going to see all men and women so for this particular product is for all gender both men and women use it so i'll leave it on all if yours is only for women select only women if it is for men select only men but my own case is for all so if it is for all select all okay then the next thing here is audience name just tap here and you are going to be able to edit this audience name the reason why you need to save your audience is so that you can use it next time if that audience converts where well. you can be able to differentiate between this particular audience and subsequent audience that you'll be setting so i'll just type laptop audience that's what i'll just use here and i will save it the next thing we have here is placement tap on placement to edit it about placement settings we have advantage plus placement and we also have manual so right here you are going to see that there is a drop down button here tap on the drop down button to see the manual i like setting my placement by myself so if you come over here if you come over here you will see the advantage plus recommended and you see the manual i like putting manual so i will select manual here so on this manual you are going to see devices if you want it to show for people using both mobile phone and desktop you can see this drop down arrow select it and enter then this one are platforms that your ad are going to show so you also see the drop down arrow here also select it for instance i don't want my own to show for people using a uh, laptop i want to maximize my ad spend so i will uncheck this desktop and i'll leave it only on mobile then i will come over to this platform here i will select i'll tap on this platform this drop down arrow and i'm going to uncheck messenger i will uncheck audience network i'll leave it to run on facebook and instagram so that is it and i will go back and set other things click on next tap on this add name to edit the add name so i will still name it laptop because i'm selling laptop for this particular ad so after that i will click this back then I will click on this identity to select the page that I want to run this ad on. That is necessary if you have more than one pages. If you also want to run your ad to Instagram, you can also see your Instagram page right here. That is if you have connected your Instagram account to your Facebook page. If you have not connected it, the ad will still run on Instagram if you select Instagram at the placement level. There is a drop down arrow here for you to select the page. That is if you have more than one pages. So you are going to see all the pages that you have here and you select the particular one you want to run the advert to. So for instance, I want to run this ad to Sika Digitals. So I'll select Sika Digitals right here and I will click back. 
click on add setup to edit your ad click on this drop down button and you are going to see that you have create ad and you also have use existing posts i will explain the two to you the create ad is used when you want to set your creative from the beginning you want to select your image or your video and all that then use existing post which is this second one is mostly used when you have already made the post on your facebook page then you can click on this use existing post to select from the post you have made that is when you want to promote an already existing post on your facebook page that is when you use that one but if you want to create the create you want to select the creative from afresh then you will use this one where they say create ad okay so i'll use create ad for now because i want to select this ad afresh the next thing here is your ad format we have single image or video here and we also have carousel this single image or video is used when you are using only single only one video or image then this carousel is used when you're using more than one image so in this particular ad i want to use single image so i'll select this one single image or video and i'll click this back if you have any question do where to comment below and don't forget to like this video most persons pay for this knowledge i'm giving to you for free so the only way you can appreciate this is to like and comment on the video thank you as you do so the next thing we have here is ad creative Click on this edit button to edit your ad creative. Here you are going to see select image or video and there's a drop down button here. So tap on this drop down button. You are going to see image and video options. So it depends on what you want to use. If you want to use flyer or image, then go ahead and select image. If you want to use video, select video. So in this particular video, I want to use image. So I'm going to select image there. The next thing you see here is media and there is a drop down arrow here for you to select your image when you click on it it will take you directly to your image we have three sections where you can select those images from we have page images we have camera roll and we also have add images so these three locations we tell you that if you want to select an image from your page then go ahead and select from this then go ahead and click on these page images but if you want to select image from your gallery then go ahead and click on this camera rule if you want to select images from your previous ad then go ahead and click on add images in this case i want to select the image from my gallery so i'll click on camera rule so i'll select this particular laptop because it's this laptop that i'm promoting then i'll click on this back button then the next thing we have here is headline go ahead and type your headline here what they mean by headline is a short catchy phrase that can capture your audience attention i type get quality laptop at affordable price if you are running a promo or you are doing black friday sales or um, christmas sales or new year sales whatever or slash sales or special discount go ahead and type it here the next thing that we have here is primary text okay the primary text area is where you are going to type in your product description complete details about your service or what you are offering that is where you enter at the primary text after primary text the next thing we have is websites remember i was running this traffic to my website but if you don't want to run to your website you can run it to your messenger or you can run it to your whatsapp or instagram okay but i'm running to my website so right here i'm going to type in my website link the next thing we have here is call to action and there is a drop down arrow here when you click on that you will see other call to action the one here is learn more there are more let me click on this drop down arrow for you to see them so this call to action is what you want them to do that is you see several call to action here in my own case i want them to get offer so i'll select get offer click here to go back the next thing you are going to do now is to click on this review so right here you see that your ad preview will appear here you see how your ad will appear on facebook 
Then there are other things here like campaign details, budget, and all that. You can go ahead to edit them if you discover that you made any mistake. You can go ahead to edit them. You see your schedule, your audience, your page, and add creative here. After going through them and you discover that everything is correct, then you go ahead and click on this publish button. After clicking on this publish button, your ad will be in review and it takes maximum 24 hours for them to approve or reject your ad. It's not going to take the whole 24 hours. Sometimes it will take two hours, sometimes one hour, sometimes three hours, four hours, five hours, as the case may be. And after that, they are going to approve or reject your ad. Then when it is approved, you will see active. You will see the active head on your ad. That if you have not subscribed to this channel, do well to subscribe right now so that you don't miss out on our next valuable video. If you have any question, comment below. If you, if you would like me to take one-on-one -on -one Facebook or Instagram ad section with you, you will see my phone number on the screen. Contact me and we are going to get started.